guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to do like a little get ready with me um we're going to go see lion king movie i'm going to try and do a little fucking spire on my shirt hakuna matata i'm going to try to do like some of these colors like kind of yellow orange into blue i think that'll be really pretty on my eyes so let's get into it so i'm going to prime my face with the Bobby Brown Enriched Face Base. Love this. Feels so nice on your skin. It smells really good too. It smells like, kind of like lemons or something. I don't know. And I already moisturized everything. Alright, so I'm going to be testing out the new Dream Urban or Maybelline Foundation. I'm in the shade 15 Ivory. Or 15 Ivory. I don't know why I said it like that. And... It sounds like someone used this, so. It smells like sunscreen. It's supposed to be full coverage, but it's looking like kind of like light medium coverage. So hopefully you can tell by the quality of the video that I got a new camera. So excited. Hopefully it looks better than my iPhone because I was filming on my iPhone. So let me know if you've seen the new Lion King movie, if you like it or not. Don't give me any spoilers even though I'm sure it's just like the original, you know. So I don't know how many spo spoilers you can really give on a 20 plus year old movie. And I've talked about this brush in my last video. It's from... The Dollar General, and it's by Believe Beauty. It's really inexpensive, and it's actually really, really nice. So I don't know if I'm loving this foundation. Like, I've heard really good reviews about it, so I wanted to give it a try. And the fact that it had SPF in it was really intriguing. I look crazy on camera. Like, I look so like yellow and weird. Hell as hell too. I swear I do not look sick in person. Okay. Alright, moving on. We're not gonna mess with anyone. Okay, another newbie. Let's see. Let me get this open. So this is the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. This is in the shade Warm Beige. And this like a little packaging right there. This looks kind of dark, so I could have gone a little bit lighter. And it almost looks like the same shade as that foundation. So maybe when I'm a little more tan, that would probably be a better match. So it feels really good. Creamy. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Decent coverage. What if the lights are almost like Okay, so I'm going to cream contour with a Wet n Wild contour stick in the shade Call Me Maple. Is um, a cream blush by Clinique. They got all their chubby sticks. It's called Robust Rhubarb. I like a lot of blush. I like it makes you look healthier and youthful and stuff. Alright, so I'm going to powder bronzer with the Wet n Wild um, Color Icon Bronzer and Bikini Contest. Just like that. Just taking like a big fluffy brush like that. Alright, 
for highlight, I'm going to use the Soap X, Soap X Highlighting Pot by Makeup Revolution. <clears throat> I use this like every single video because it's honestly amazing. And I use, I usually like mix these two shades together. It's like a yellow, or yellow, it's like a gold and a rose gold shade. I'm gonna do my eyebrows really quick. I'm gonna use this little brow pencil by LA Girl. It's called the Shady Slim Brow. And the shade Soft Brown. I barely even see it. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the face. Um, you can like powder your face if you get oily. I'm pretty dry, so I usually don't. I might put a little bit like in my T zone. We're also on the eyes. So I wanted to do like similar to my shirt, where it has like start with the yellow and goes into like the corals. So I'm trying to think of a palette that has a nice yellow. Probably going to be Take Me Back to Brazil palette. Because it has like all these pretty shades in it. So I'm going to take a big fluffy brush. And I'm going to take this lightest yellow shade right there. Pat out your eye. Hello. How you doing? So that basically looks like my skin pretty much. It's very, very light and faint. a little more pigmented. Whoa. A little bit more pigmented than the look for it. Same fluffy brush because I'm pretty much just setting down a good base. And next the darkest yellow shade. So I'm pretty much keeping my lid space blank and then I'm putting the color above that. Just building that up. Alright, so I'm going to get a little bit smaller brush like this. This is the Morphe M575. I'm going to go into Let's see, they have this orange. What is it? Somebody's down there talking up a storm. Little girl wants to say hi. Hi, little girl. That's Ladybug. It's our newest addition. We actually rescued her from a Walmart. Um, well, I was about to say Walmart parking lot, but it was actually inside Walmart. There was a homeless man that was carrying her around, and um, her eye was her eye was really bad swollen. Both of her both of her eyes actually were really bad swollen, and they were like leaking fluid. It, it was, looked horrible. It looked very painful. And she was so tiny. And I was like, oh, look at Kat. I didn't really realize that she was in such bad shape. And he's like, yeah, I'm homeless. My battery's dying. Okay, well, he was like, yeah, I'm homeless. I can take care of her. So we took her straight to the ER. Got her all fixed up. There's a million just a smidge more. Oh, my. Pretty good. I'm just like building the wing out right there too. Okay, and I also took a little bit of this darker orange and kind of blended it in there with as well.
Okay, so with my shirt, orange and then kind of goes into like a blue. I might do like a blue all over my eyelid. It would be really pretty. I feel like a shimmery blue or something. I'm going to take that first fluffy brush and just go in and kind of blend out the edges. I might start with this shade right there and see if we can blend it up. Okay, so that did nothing. Okay, that also did nothing. I'm going to do a little Mardo Tedeschi. Okay, that helped a little. Not a whole lot, honestly. I'm not getting like fallout all over my face. So I'm going to put some powder down before we have a whole freaking fiasco. better is putting down a like, concealer or like a blue eyeliner or something which I don't have blue eyeliner but it's not really loving the way that's looking so kind of like pick the blue up if you can see so that's not really working out. So great. Okay, so I'm gonna go into her original palette, into the blue shades, and I'm gonna try and see if I can pack those on any better. This is like more of like a blue green. I'm not just gonna do like a shimmer over the blue. Alright, so the bottom lash line, I'm thinking maybe like a purple. Keep looking down on my shirt. Maybe like a purple color. I'm not trying to look something like that. This is. I don't know where this is from. I like, this is from that new brush kit from Amazon that I just got. That my honey bought for me. I don't look looking crazy. I'm kind of like buffing that into this, kind of blend it together. I hope that'll look crazy, but I probably will. Oh well, I don't care. much the look I was going for. I mean, kind of, sort of. Okay, so I'm gonna use some lashes. I'm gonna use these House of Lashes. They look 
like that. I got these in a boxy charm. I never had or tried. I never tried House of Lashes before, so we shall see what they're like. So we're basically done. I tried to mesh the eyelashes as best as I could. This one look, looks like definitely a lot better, like as far as like the inner part. Like, but whatever. We're not gonna make, like nitpick it. I'm just, I'm not a freaking pro, you know. Not thinking just like a nude lip, keeping it simple, keeping it simple. So I'm gonna use the Bodyography Pro. Or just called body on free, barely there. Is that pencil? The Maybelline Baddest Beige. Oh, that's sick. And then a little, a little more delicious in the Santa to get rid of the blood holding. So that's pretty much it. The purple, like you can't really tell it's purple. So Mike grab a purple shade from somewhere else. I'm gonna like this shade. It looks way on camera, but it's really purple. Pretty for me. Let's see. Can you tell purple? Oh, I can tell purple? I don't So I'm going to pop a little inner corner highlight, just right in the inner corner there. So that's pretty much the look. All right, so this is pretty much the look. It's a little Lion King look. What do y'all think? No, oh, it was fun. Little like orangey yellow green purple vibes i really liked how it turned out it was really fun doing it and hopefully the movie's really good all right guys well i'm gonna get out of here um don't forget to like and subscribe while you're here all right love you guys bye